Welcome to Java Walker World. This week we share with you all the things we did wrong on our van conversion and we give you a van tour. Stay to the end. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to our channel. I apologize that we haven't had a video in a couple of weeks. A couple of Sundays we've missed our long form uh, content. We were in Newfoundland and Wi-Fi. Uh, along that area and uh, Wi-Fi really sketchy and a cell service that sort of thing so we really didn't have an opportunity to uh, upload any videos even work on them in order to there's a lot of hours in, in putting together a video uh, in work so but welcome today we are going to do a van tour of the van for you um, we will share all of that with you. We'll leave that towards the end. What we're talking about today is all the little tweaks that we need to do in this van. As much as we thought we covered everything, there's always some tweaking and I will probably do this over and over and over again. And I found, Frank's right there, he's watching for rain. Um, what I found, it took us a good three weeks or so, is that right? Yeah. We were on the road for about three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks. And those first three weeks were tough. Finding things. Where where did we put them? We forgot things. All sorts of things like that. We are rejigging things and here. Cleaning. And cleaning. And cleaning. cleaning everything up. <laughs> yeah, small spaces get dirty real fast. So we're figuring out the things we didn't use that took up space. So we're taking out. And the things that we do use, we're keeping in and reorganizing. So we're noticing we're already going to have a quite a bit more space in the so-called garage back here. Yeah, and we have a big trip this winter planned, and so we're gonna be away for a long time in this van, and so we need to get that all figured out. So this Newfoundland trip was perfect for us to figure that yeah, out. It was a test run. No? Just a few things, just to go over uh, some of the things that need to be changed. Number one is right here. In our water, you can see that there is a little space there. We didn't have any, uh, you Issues. know, issues with it or anything like that but we don't like to see that so we're going to create a shim to put in there so that's one of the first things we're going to do secondly we're going to have our diesel heater installed tomorrow we're going to go to an install to have it properly because you got to drill a hole through the floor i'm not too comfortable doing that it's going to be by the exhaust so it's going to be professionally done it's here in the box okay, we're going to so drive now that um we have some space here right there is a sensor that controls the fan over the bed and I've just neatly tied that up. I had it loose and uh, I didn't like that especially now that the diesel heater is going to be placed right here uh, and so I wanted that nicely uh, positioned. We have a lot more space now in the garage so I've now moved Molly's crate this way. We're going to pre-drill our hole for our um, hot air to come out from the diesel heater in that panel there and do you uh, have any issues with the water nothing's leaking everything's good with these lights that we um, put in that are chargeable lights um, they need to be reprogrammed we didn't have them quite programmed correctly and so the ones we wanted on weren't going on and the ones we wanted off you know that sort of thing so we just need to figure that out so we're gonna take some time to do that what else what else do we have well, we've been cleaning so we reorganized our pot and pan and dishes here we put a little divider and now we can get a lot more. I had plates here that I really did not need. Notice that we had this little shelf that we built to cover up. This is the main power line for the van that all the electrical comes in. So we wanted to camouflage that. But within the first day, you can see, I mean, it's secure. It's not going to go anywhere, but it's dangling. It's tilted. That's not great. So we're going to take that out. Our where we put our clothes. We had these really big bags that we had here. But we still have the other bags that I had here were really actually too big. So I'm going to pick up a few more of these. They seem to be a better size. And we're going to create a similar situation as this up here. I don't know exactly how how far across we want it to go or how big it is. The idea that we're looking for is that our packing cubes could be it would fit our packing cubes so maybe get four packing cubes 
and we can just put them in that slot. Add these uh, baskets, these wicker baskets that we had on the counters. Well, counter space is very valuable. Scrapping that idea of having these wicker baskets on the counter, and we are going to add a shelf right over here those wicker baskets were basically a catch-all whenever you have a little thing something small something to dump into and so we're going to make a little shelf going across here that will take care of that situation this did a lot of bouncing so we're going to secure that i'm going to get another one of these because these were really handy really really handy this was pretty useless we didn't use it at all so we're going to take that away Another one of those, we really like these baskets. We had them hanging here, and they were a great catch-all as well. The sink was really good. Uh, everything with the fridge, perfect. Everything with the blue eddy and how that worked was great. I had no, We had no problems with that. Um, I'm considering getting rid of the garbage pail that we have there. Um, and maybe just get something that attaches to the, you know, those ones that hang here for, because we're getting rid of our garbage every day anyway. After a meal, uh, we get rid of it. The so. other thing that uh, we found was this lovely table that we have, which we sit out here once we swivel the seat and sit here. We play card games and we have meals when it's raining out or it's cold and we're in here. Uh, it's a great table. It's just slightly too big. So I'm thinking we need to find something a little different for there. We need to find a good home for our fire extinguisher. Something that, you know, is more permanent. Um, what else? Um, I, I would like to see some sort of um, a, a stretchable netting going across here. Because these things on here, if we break... They tend to fall out and hit you on the head. So, but I think that is pretty much it. Our um, stove worked really well here. It's just that I felt sometimes it was, um, it was just easier if we got something electrical. Since we have the Blue Eddy and it worked so well, we picked up this at Walmart really, really cheap. And it was really convenient to have this. So now we have number one or number two number one coleman stove can come in handy when you don't have power number two you have lots of power no problem this is really easy and what else do we have to do well we're going to try and devise a way to secure the uh, coleman stove to the countertop so it doesn't move when we're driving and we can just leave it here yeah temporarily permanent so it doesn't slide around and also we can divvy it up to the hot plate too. So that we can do one or the yeah, other. That. So we're going to create some sort of a frame that will hold the Coleman stove and the electrical stove um, in place. In we place. find is that when we take off and we're driving, we have to take everything off the counters and then put them on the bed. I have um, I have this, this tote so that if this is a little bit drippy or greasy or what have you, it doesn't uh, dirty the linens, but this is, it's kind of a, a cumbersome thing to do all the time. And so if we can find a permanent home for one of these stoves on the counter so we don't have to move it, I think that would be a really good uh, solution to that, that issue and, and make our, our trips a little bit more enjoyable. Everything on the ceiling went really well. The Max fan worked great. The fans worked great. The lights worked great. Um, so everything was fine. Um, I can't think of anything else. The swivel seat was a dream. Yeah, once you got the hang of it. Once you got the hang of how to swing it, it um, uh, it was really, really it was, well, easy. It was like having a recliner, actually. You could recline the seat, put your foot up on the ottoman here. Yeah, and, it was really, really good. And we thought we would have to always open the passenger side door in order to swivel it. And we don't. We have just, you just tilt the backrest down, bring the seat forward and swivel. And, swivel. and it slides really, really easily. And another thing that we got that we didn't talk about before was a reverse camera. So when we're reversing, um, backing up, 
um, we have a clear shot of everything. Yeah, that's because the model year of the van, they didn't come with it, or they didn't pick it as an option, yeah. so we had it installed separately. But it's pretty good because it's uh, Bluetooth, or it's wireless, so we just plug it into the cigarette lighter, and there's it, a little camera in the back attached to the uh, license plate. Yeah, it worked like a charm. And we are thinking if we could find a decent cabinet to put along there, we may move this mirror to this side and put a cabinet there so that we can put canned goods, that sort of thing. Uh, we found that these cabinets with these little baskets, mm, they weren't as efficient as, as I would like. This worked out okay. Um, but yeah, Frank's busy cleaning the fridge, uh, defrosting it. Uh, not that there was a lot of frost in it, but still, it has some. And we're cleaning that up. We've turned everything off. We will be headed to getting that diesel heater installed. After that, we will be here at the cabin for a little, little bit. And then off to Ottawa. We are moving the van to Ottawa, which is where we live. And we are parking it there for a little while, a few months. Uh, until we head out south to the U.S. south for the winter. Um, and so I hope you'll enjoy um, some of the things that we will uh, be covering down there and van life down there uh, for the winter. Well, I hope you're enjoying this video. Um, if you are enjoying this video, you like our content, please give us a like. Share the content with friend. Um, subscribe. Any of that would really be helpful to our channel. Thank you. Okay, so one more added feature maybe as an accessory if you want to look at it would be to add an awning. We noticed on this last trip that whenever there were rain days, everything was soaked outside. Our rug was soaked so it wasn't very um, appealing to go out. We hope that the awning would help keep it dry. That's another possibility. So we'll see where that goes. So as we do all these improvements and updates, you'll see how they turn out. So keep watching and see how all this takes place. We'll share all of it with you. Hey guys, this is an unusual location of the way I'm sitting here, but I am lying down on the floor of the van. We just had our diesel heater installed and it's working like a charm. It keeps heating up though more and more. I don't know why. Anyway, it's just burning off some of the oil and stuff on there. Uh, through Shine in Bathurst, uh, New Brunswick, Jeremy installed this for us. He did an awesome job, very detailed uh, with every little step. Um, and it's not something that he had done before. He just followed the instructions and did it. He was a little bit more qualified than we were to install it. So I appreciated all the work that he did. And we're just testing it out. We put the diesel in it and it worked immediately. We plugged it into the Blue Eddy. And I think we'll just keep that on, a, on an extension cord. And whenever we need heat, because we're not going to be traveling in winter all that much, other than coming from Canada, going to places like Florida that sort of thing on route uh, and the occasional time I think we'll just keep it on an extension cord and whenever we want to have the diesel heater working uh, we'll just plug it in directly into the blue eddy anyway let me show you what it looks like so we're just gonna have the uh, we have to get a new pipe yeah, here good. whoops Frank and Jeremy yeah, are well, talking I sorry uh, so I'm going to be getting a new pipe because obviously this one's too short. It comes with a really nice head so that I can attach it. Oops, let me just show you. So that I can attach it here. I'm going to drill a three inch hole here and we'll extend it this way. Uh, so it's directly there. I'm going to put a partition as well so that we don't muck up. Uh, what's going on here so that storage area doesn't knock things around it is very nicely secured uh, he did an awesome job so that fuel can be easily uh, attached uh, or uh, put in to the to the diesel heater we are very pleased with what Jeremy has done it also comes with look at this it also comes with a uh, remote control so we don't have to be under here um, it can be up, up on bed, in the bed, and we can just peek through this uh, Molly's access hole. I'll show you. 
we can just peek in through here and see that we're at the right temperature. Very cool. Plugged it into the blue e eddy. And uh, so it's right there. And I think we'll just do it that way. Maybe I might tie it in so that it can be turned on um, and accessible right away. Or we might just want to do it whenever we need it, just very purposefully. Um, guys, this is the uh, unit that we bought from Viver. And it's an all-in-one unit. You can see the fuel here, uh, the level. And look how nicely put that is. See, it's just got an extension cord that we've tied in. This is changing a DC, uh, just like on a laptop computer. Um, this changes DC to AC, which is a regular household plug. And then you plug that in there. We have it just loosely here right now, uh, going to the front of the thing. And let me just see if I can get a nice angle here for you so you can see from under here how and this is the outtake for the heat which we're going to add the extended pipe well we are very very pleased so what does this mean this means now we can travel in colder weather and feel nice and warm and toasty and considering this whole van is only 60 square feet it won't take very long for it to heat up um, and keep everything nice and warm especially water tanks here which we don't want to freeze at all very happy yes. through, shine. through shine that's their logo auto detailing in bathurst new brunswick we're very there's pleased there's jeremy Doing this the, kind of stuff the, <laughs> he's very good with detailed uh, jeremy stuff jeremy was fantastic he tinted our windows for us he put yeah. in the diesel heater and he's cleaned our seats because they were stained to high heaven. Yeah. And Not Jeremy anymore. took care of all that. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeremy. And now, our van tour. Is done. We're going to do a walkthrough with it. They're five weeks of renovating it. Our Ford Transit 250 is ready for show. It's done, and we're ready for the tour. We're going to bring you along with us. Next week, see you then.